Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we will be creating drag and drop functionality for 2D elements. So let's get started. To begin, add a 2D circle sprite and assign it a color. Next, add a circle collider 2D to detect mouse activities. Now, proceed by adding a new script named drag drop 2D and open it for editing. Firstly, we need to create a method to calculate the mouse world position. Obtain the mouse position in the screen space. Since 2D screen space lacks a z-axis, we must set the z-value using the circle's z-value. Afterwards, convert the screen space value to world space before returning it. Moving forward, we will employ the onMouseDrag method to handle the dragging functionality. In this method, we will set the circle's position to the mouse world position. To maintain the distance between the circle and the mouse during dragging, we need to calculate that distance just before the dragging commences. So add the mouse down method and calculate the distance inside it. Add the calculated distance to the mouse world position. With the dragging aspect complete, let's return to Unity. Press play and you will now be able to drag the circle around. Now, to implement the dropping functionality, add the onMouseUp method. When the mouse is released, we will cast a ray. Consequently, we need to disable the collider to prevent it from obstructing the raycast. For raycasting, we require information about the ray's origin and direction. Additionally, we need a hit info field to store the result of the raycast. If the ray intersects with the drop area, identified using its tag, we will snap the circle to the center of the drop area. To avoid conflicts between the circle and the drop area colliders, we will snap the circle slightly above the drop area, ensuring it can be picked up again. Finally, re-enable the collider. Save the script and return to Unity. Add a square sprite, assign the drop area tag, and include the box collider to the component. Duplicate the square several times and scatter them in different locations. Press play and you will now be able to drag and drop the circle into the designated drop areas. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.